Also, I can say this way. If you know G, that is the, the singular function in general. Why? The G is a Green's function, means the sound pressure induced by the excitation at certain at one point, point excitation, right? Right? And we know the, for example, monopole, one over R ex, 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 exponential JKR, does satisfy governing equation, right? And also we know dipole satisfy the governing equation. And what we can do is, if I distribute monopole over here in such a way that satisfies the boundary condition, I can do it, right? Monopole radiates sound, but I can control the magnitude and phase in such a way that satisfies the boundary condition over here. And I can argue that the sound field made by this many, many monopoles would be the solution. Because that satisfies the governing equation, that satisfies the boundary condition, right? So we solve it. Isn't it simple? So every numerical method approach the problem that way, in principle. So let's go back to what we, st I mean, the way we studied the high school or junior high school. When we have a mathematics problem, first, I mean, the, the legitimate way is solve it. Therefore, therefore, A equals B, and B equals C. Therefore, A equals C. That is the sort of legitimate way to solve it. What is the another way? You try. You try the solution and plug in to the parenthesis. If it's satisfied, it works. That, that means it is a solution, right? Right? So this method is sort of Selecting the known solution in such a way that satisfies the boundary condition and claims that the induced sound field is the solution that we want to have. So, we start with a very simple case, one dimensional case, but certainly it possesses a lot of, lot of physical meanings, a lot of implication in analysis, okay. So what I will ask you in the midterm examination, I will ask you how deeply you understood this. <laughs> okay. I will not ask you to solve certain problem using this concept. Okay. And then when we start the chapter four, we will handle this specific problem using this kirchhoff helmholtz integral equation. Okay? Box one. In aeronautics, you are also using many singular functions, right? Vortex function, monopole, dipole, many things, right? Okay. This concludes the chapter two. And let's move to chapter three. Okay, chapter three.
The title of chapter 3 is Waves on a flat surface of discontinuity. What we are going to handle is, for example, if we have some structure, like a window, or door, or partition, and sound comes in, and we know that some of sound will be transmitted, and some will not transmitted and reflected. <coughs> and how much sound is reflected, how much sound is transmitted depends on the characteristics of this world. Right? So up to now we handled the very uh, general case, three-dimensional acoustics. Kirchhoff Helmholtz integral equation. It really make you very unhappy, right? <laughs> now I feel that I I have to make you guys very happy. So I let let's study a very simple case again. Okay. Let's first start with the case when I have two different mediums, Z0 and Z1. When I have an instant wave, and I will have a reflection, and I will have transmission. Okay? That's very obvious. And I denote that this is instant pressure field, and this is a reflected pressure field, this is transmitted pressure field, so I'm using index I, R, T, 2, denote instant reflection transmission. Okay, then I can write this is as pressure magnitude exponential minus J omega T minus Kx. And I should say K1 because K equal to omega over C Depending on medium, therefore different speed of propagation, therefore different wave number. Okay. For the same frequency. Then I will ask you, is it possible to have a different frequency? No, because this is linear. When I shout in the air to the water, then the frequency that could be heard by somebody else, somebody else in the water has to be the same. Right? Because that is a linear problem. You do not agree. You do not agree, right? Do you? Do you agree? <coughs> you do not agree? No. no. Means do you agree or? No, I don't agree. You don't, don't agree? Yeah. Okay, that's good. That's make you, because you are challenging my answer, right? That's good. Okay, let's see. <laughs> so, then I will say omega 1 and omega 2, PT magnitude you happy with this omega 1 and omega 2 okay, okay. so democracy is good right you always accept the idea 